We just got a quick question we want to ask Miss Rose Hinesbury today since she's back trending in these Google streets, okay? Over there hanging out with the original mistress, a.k.a. Queen, Sh Queen Camilla. We're going to ask her today, Rose, are you pregnant by Prince William? Let's jump straight into it, okay? So we're going to go ahead and ask this. It shouldn't be a long reading, girl. It's, it's a simple little tarot pregnancy test and then we'll move on okay because some people are saying that she could possibly be pregnant by Williams um, from the picture that I saw she didn't look like she was pregnant but she had a blazer on but you know she could have a little nugget up under that I just didn't see it I don't know so we're gonna see what these cards have to say real fast real quick now divine angels give me the best cards from this deck to describe whether or not Rose Hansberry is pregnant by Prince William Okay, that's the first question we want to know. Is she pregnant by him? So let's see what the cards have to say. Thank you. Okay, now I want to also pull from the second deck that I used <clears throat> and see what this deck has. Is Rose Hinesbury pregnant by William? <clears throat> and what is the energy around? Okay, if not, what is the energy around Rose and Prince William? Girl, I know y'all got some type of energy over there, girl. You're hanging out over there with your stepmama. You ain't coming over there for nothing, girl. Okay, so stop. So, okay, first we're going to see. Now, is she pregnant by Prince William? The cards say. First we got Ogre. We got Fox Honey. Either she is a sexy fox or a sneaky fox. But she creeping up on them, girl. It speaks about, now the fox speaks about deception. But this person got skills. Okay, so is she over there trying to perfect the skills with Camilla? Girl, because Camilla did, clearly Camilla got the skills to pay the bills, baby. She's the queen. Okay, and she went through all odds to become it. So, is that what Rose is trying to do? But it speaks about somebody being a sneaky little fox, somebody being clever, very conniving, if you will, treachery. Okay, tricks. Okay, it also speaks about, is that empire? Okay, is she trying to get in on the empire, girl? But we got a sneaky little fox here. Okay, so we don't know what she's going to be sneaking up doing. We're going to hopefully find out. Then we got the sun here. So the sun could speak about a new beginning, being warm, okay, trying to, you know, get back on the good side, okay, if she ever left, honey, it speaks about, you know, spirituality, okay, her spirit, okay, being guided towards, so we got this sun energy here, happiness, joy, that type of energy, honey, you know how the sun make you feel, followed by the locket. Now, the locket is all about, it speaks about family. It speaks about cherishing something. What you mainly cherish when you put in this locket. It'd be a picture of your family, picture of someone you love. It's a loved one. It speaks about tenderness, um, something that you very much enjoy. You cherish it a lot. Emotions. Okay, and family. Very compassionate when it comes to family. So, again, are they all, I mean, I already... Are they already family? Do they already have a family together? She consider his children hers and her her children his. Are they going to comp combine it together? Because usually, girl, I mean, lately they've been doing things untraditional than the typical royal family would do it. Starting with King Charles. He started off, you know, his mother did not want him to marry Camilla. That was the mistress. And he divorced his wife. Got married to Camilla. I mean, start dating Camilla again while she was still married, girl. And then they end up getting married. Okay, and she got and she wearing the crown now. So it's like he fought for that relationship, literally against the the queen herself, his mother. Now, when it comes to my second deck here, okay, because right now it's not showing any children, but it is showing family. It is showing some type of sneaky way that they're doing it to create this kind of family if they don't already have it. Because they want a new beginning, a brightness, honey. They want to see the sunny day, girl. They want to wake up and be warm and cozy and cuddly with each other, girl. 
Okay, and they cherish the moments that they have. They cherish and everything about it. So, and they're wearing it around their neck. So, they may not be speaking about it too much. It's a lot of down low, sneaky energy. But at the same time, they're trying to work towards this sunny day, this bright day. In the middle, everything is all to the good. It's like everything is healthy. But this locket does speak about family. We're going to see what that's all about. Let's see what the next deck of cards have to say. We have a change here. Somebody moving in, moving out, girl, moving up. Okay, moving towards. We do see a vehicle here causing change when it comes to residence. Girl, is she moving into the palace? Is she moving into Kingston? What's it called? Kingston? <laughs> the apartment that's four stories high, over 20 bedrooms and rooms. You're in a traditional apartment, please believe. Okay, so it's some type of change. And then, girl, a change that comes in with adjudication, a divorce. A separation, a legal separation, girl, a legal matter. Okay, we got here somebody going to speak to um, some type of mediator for mediation. This is my divorce card here, girl. You see two people going before the judge. So that's a change in somebody's marriage, divorce, uh, a coupling, being together. Girl, it's official. Marriage. Girl, you're going to get a divorce and get married. At least that's what she thinks she's about to do. Okay, so it's showing up that he, she is looking... I mean, it's not saying that she is pregnant with his baby or that she has a baby with him. Uh, could possibly, you know, we got a locket here with family in it, but I see a divorce. I see a change going on in their relationship. Maybe a divorce between both of them because she got to get a divorce to get married to him if she tried to. It speaks about a marriage here. Now, it could also be William getting divorced and her cherishing her marriage. Okay, it could be simple as that. But we're going to find out, girl, because we're going to have to pull some cards on this now. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so I kind of want to figure out what is going on with this. Who is getting a divorce here? Who is getting a divorce in this connection? Okay. Now, we can kind of assume, but I just want to see what the cards have to say. Who is getting a divorce when it comes to Rose Hinesbury? When it comes to... The divorce, we got somebody with sudden wealth. Okay, sudden wealth coming in from this divorce. Somebody getting a big lump sum, a big old settlement, baby. Somebody being luck. It says sudden wealth. Luck is on your side, honey, with the 11. Divine luck, baby. Bingo. What do we need to know about this marriage card when it comes to Rose Hines Ferry? nothing here let's pull it from this deck here give me more about this marriage here when it comes to rose hinesbury and prince william or you know it's rose reading right now so we we'll see what she got to say about this marriage card so it seems like she is chasing something there's somebody that's chasing something in a marriage when it comes to a marriage it speaks about a chaser in a codependent relationship somebody has a fear of abandonment or some type of uh, abandonment issues so we got somebody chasing the marriage okay chasing it because it's probably gonna be a healthier choice for them okay it's making healthy choices when it comes to love and in life self-love self-care and being happier she's gonna be happier in a marriage here when it comes to wedding rings okay so that yeah that's a giving marriage type of thing not leaving the marriage or you know, this when the marriage card is here, it speaks about uh, wedding rings. That's the beginning of a marriage, starting a marriage. You start off with the wedding rings. It speaks about a, a union, a wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise here. Hmm. Somebody made a promise to, to somebody, girl, to one another concerning their love here in this marriage. And this marriage is like it's, it's something new here. Let's see. 
followed by a heart with a key. Somebody always had your heart, and then somebody else always had the key. It speaks about welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together perfect. So, yeah, this is somebody getting married right here. So, you're leaving the marriage, you're leaving the divorce, getting a divorce, you're changing, you're leaving out, you're moving out, okay? Girl, you're taking some money with you when you leave, okay? She said she ain't leaving empty handy. And, it, and she chasing the marriage. She chasing almost like she chasing William for this marriage because she feel like it's a healthier choice for her. She probably already got the wedding ring, about to get it, girl. I guess as soon as they get it off Kate Finger, they're gonna go ahead and put it on hers. Okay, Princess Diana ring, I guess, girl. And then it's like because they always had some type of connection here. They welcome in love. They feel like this is a perfect perfect connection and they open they open into this. Let's find out more about this change. What is this change happening? with Rose Hansberry. Okay. We can assume marriage, but I just want to make sure. I mean I'm sorry, they assume moving out or leaving a situation. Or maybe even moving in to a situation. Okay, the change comes when hands of cards, baby. Somebody over there gambling and taking a chance. That means they risking it, girl. She risking it all and she's being very strategic when it comes to the beginning process of how they're gonna do this. When they're moving, the word they're moving. It speaks about options here. She says she got other options, honey, than what she got at home right now. But she's not showing her true hand right now, which she is not, and she's gambling. Okay, that's why she's sneaking up here as this fox. Girl, she's sneaking to try and do everything on the cover, baby. Because she already been meeting with somebody discussing it with the coffee cup. Okay, me know that at the Royal Starbucks. It's like meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, uplifted in friendship. So, girl, we over here acting like we friends until we get a divorce because you can't be cheating in the marriage if you think you're going to get this big settlement. So, honey, it's like, okay, we're keeping everything on the down low. We're sneaking. And then we're moving along until we get this divorce. Once this divorce is done here, then we gone. We up out of here. So let's find out more about this um, this fox energy, okay? It's like, Rose, what are you over there sneaking around doing, okay? What's the reason for this sneaking around, girl? And this paternity test, girl. Give me one card, girl. Why are you sneaking around? Okay, yeah, she wouldn't do a little humble bragging if it's up to her, girl. Okay, she would. She wouldn't have to sneak if it was up to her. It says, don't be so obvious, honey. She can't be obvious the way she's moving because she is dealing with somebody that's a public figure, somebody that, you know, needs his reputation. So she don't need to be so obvious here. Girl, let me read it. It says, read between the lines. Self-promoting and a disguised brag. So she was disguising about it, but at the same time, kind of rubbing in the face because it's like, girl, why is you still hanging out over there? You know, they already said that y'all been sneaking around, but they claim that she said that they haven't been sneaking around. I haven't read any official article or clicked on anything where she addressed it because I just haven't read it yet. Okay, but I hear her in these streets that she was trying to dispute it and saying that it wasn't happening. At least Pippa tried to step step up, but I don't know if either one of these no women know that Prince William has options, baby. He got the seven of cups, so if he got a couple of women over that he can choose from, it ain't just these two. But it's like they over she over here chasing, and they looking for it, baby. It's part of the Hunger Games. Who knows? But let's find out by the sun here. What is the sun here when it came to your paternity test? Why the sun was here when it comes to Prince William? Okay. So we got the sun. Speaks about can't even. It's like she can't deal with a situation. Don't know what to do or say. She can't comprehend what's going on. Shaking her head. Wow. So it seems like something may have been exposed here. Some light has been shined on something when it came to this sun here. And she can't deal with the situation. Girl, what you can't deal with? Because uh, I see Lockett here in family. Why is the Lockett here when it comes to you and Prince William's paternity test, girl, uh, or pregnancy test? Why is this Lockett here and you can't deal with something? Are you trying to have a baby by him and can't? Okay. Here we got the followers, honey. It's like your influence is invisible. To focus on others supporter admirer and a believer so it's look like they're trying to be, they looking to have something happen here when it comes to the family and something that they cherish and it's almost like 
it's, it says invisible, which means can't be seen, not showing up. Let's find out what's invisible first. Let's see. What is going on with um, pregnancy? Okay, with the pregnancy. That's what I'm pulling from. You got the sun here. You said you can't deal with something when it comes to the locket. Okay, you see, you feel like you may be invisible and you, you know, you're an admirer of something and a believer. You believe in that it's going to come true and it's going to come into fruition. But what is this? What is this energy here, Miss Rose, when it comes to you and Prince William's possible pregnancy test or expecting a child? Or family and children, girl. Just let me know what y'all got going on over here. Now, we got the first girl. We got the witch's cottage again. The witch's cottage. Keep on sh showing up, baby. And honey, from what the last time we did a reading, girl, the witch's cottage was in the Buckingham Palace. Now, I don't know where. It speaks about security, honey. Something being heavily guarded. Security. Um, something kind of hidden. A hidden pass passageway. Or a hidden area here you know it's not open to the public in other words with hand fasting speaks about a union a marriage a coupling coming together joining a union okay so it's like girl she's trying to get married to him girl this is the second time it showed up here and it's some type of ritual maybe not an official wedding some type of um, backyard wedding outside the witch's car cottage girl Followed by the broomstick, girl. She's going to ride in on her broomstick, baby. It's going to be speaking about a clearance. But first, they got to get rid of something. They got to clear something out. They got to clear away their door. They got to sweep in front of their doorway. To clear something out. Okay? Clear away the bad energy that's there. Uh, baby, the, the bad, I guess, exes. Okay? Her ex-husband or her current husband. And then, I guess, Kate, girl, who is also the current wife. For what we know so far of uh, Prince William because they are using her name a lot in the news now girl the people in the comment section said they still over there in the royal streets they still call her Princess Catherine which is fine but girl the people out here and not just in America it's like girl, even the, the press the press been using Kate okay so we speak some about the clearance here okay sweeping in front of your front door Clearing out the energy so that you can have a better path, a cleaner path, a fresh path. Okay? With the earth, girl. Getting the earth, getting the ground, becoming grounded. Paving the way. All right. Next with cycles. Okay, we got cycles here. That moon energy. Cycles. It could be menstrual cycles. It could be cycles of a pregnancy. Girl, what are y'all waiting? What are y'all trying to over there doing in the witch's cottage, honey? When it comes to moon cycles, what are y'all keeping secret? Okay, I see three female, three witches, or three females with blonde, red, and look like white hair. Standing there looking at the moon cycles. Waiting, patient, watching. Feminine energy. Three witches. With the homeland, okay, creating the foundation. Now, girl, is, is William going to marry two or three wives, honey? Is that something, a rule that a king can do? I'm sure a king can do whatever they want to over there. But, yeah, we got, you know, I see a location here, a marriage, a clearing, okay, for a new start. But then there's some secrets here when it comes to homeland, home base, a foundation, their security, securing the land, baby. So let's see, what do we got here? What is really going on? Let's see, which card would help me out? Let's pull from this deck here. Okay, what is the moon energy here when it comes to Rose Hansberry and Prince William? What are they hiding? What are the secrets here? What are the cycles here that keep on happening in that relationship that we need to be aware of okay what's going on what are they waiting for okay girl they trying to is something dealing with the matters of the heart baby romance somebody may feel defeated in this relationship you know 
You keep on trying to make it happen and you just get hit in the head with a rock. You're preparing for a date, preparing for something. And then something comes, a boulder comes and kind of creates some type of obstacle here where you feel defeated. Followed by achievements. Girl, somebody trying to keep all the assets. And it's something that they're trying to achieve here and trying to gain. You know, they setting some type of new ground for it, okay? And they're not they're still not speaking about it. It speaks about estrangement, grieving, being quiet about something, being tongue tied. You could be a little emotional about this. And again, you're sitting and waiting. There's more a lot of waiting going on here. When it comes to a robbery, somebody making sure they get their money, baby. Pull the, the rug and the money and the dollars and give me that ring too from up under you. Okay, so she over there robbing with somebody. It's that cake girl. You over there robbing with that woman in her own palace. Huh, but it's cycles of this, honey. Of love, defeat, you know, thinking that they're about to be together. And then they say, no, somebody come pull the rug from up under her. She grieving about it, not speaking about it. Okay, trying to be silent about it. All right, girl. Okay, so we're going to see what's going on with this adjudication. Card, and then we're going to send you on your way. You can go back over there to Catherine. I mean, not Catherine, but Camilla. And hang out with her if you want to, girl. Yes, um... You ain't talking about much over here, baby. Okay? You kind of boring. I don't know how Prince William feel about that. But that's okay, girl. Oh, what is this? When did this pop out? We got the sorrow card, okay? It is something that brings depression, nightmares, sorrow. Okay? Very theatrical, girl. Over the top. In the, in the emotions, in the feelings. Really sad about something. Okay? Is this a Romeo Juliet? Or is this some type of royal play that's going on over there? Now, give me more about the adjudication, okay? Why is that here? What do we need to know about this adjudication? Okay? Girl, somebody being canceled, baby. Somebody being left at the altar, baby, in reversal. It's like this, dismissing someone or a situation, rejecting someone or an idea. It's a rejection, not interest, and you boycotting it. So, yeah, it's a divorce that's going on. Rose... Maybe planning on getting a divorce, but she wanted to first make sure she get that sudden wealth, honey, before she get into a marriage with the prince. Now, do the prince want to marry you, girl? Let's ask that. Do Prince William want to marry Rose Hansberry? Do Prince want to marry Rose? Okay. Do the prince want to marry Rose, girl? First, we got the snake here. It speaks about, you know, you know, the snake being snaky, being a trickster, betrayal, seduction. So he said he liked, you know, he liked to hit it every once in a while, you know. They, they have that seductive energy around each other. They like sneaking around. I, I see a lot of deception here. She was up there being a, a, a conniving fox. And then so we got him being a snake, you know, when it comes to sneaking around. It's like he liked that and enjoyed that about, you know, being with her. And, you know, followed by the moon, honey. He liked the sneaking around. They're down low in the closet. Nobody else has to know type of energy. Cycles of this. You know, I don't know what they keep on doing in cycles, okay? It seems like it's not always... It's something that happens over and over again. It could be some type of ritual for them. But it don't seem like it's something consistent, Followed by, ooh, the house, honey, of the messy situation, a resident. Girl, is he going to get him a little plantation where he put all about five or six houses out there for all his fair maidens? It speaks about a domestic situation, a family, property, a residence. Okay. So, yeah, real estate. We got somebody, and it ain't the biggest house, girl. It's a little, I guess, the witch's cottage, girl. It's a smaller house. So I just, I don't see marriage for him. It's like he enjoyed the energy of sneaking around with her in different houses and maybe in having their own location, you know, but it speaks about some type of delusions here as well when it comes to this moon energy, the snake energy in the house. You're a little delusion about what's going on. Maybe even when you get into the one household with each other, will you even like each other? 
how does William feel about Rose Hansberry? Okay, so we we see he likes sneaking around. I don't see a marriage here went on his mind. But how does he feel about her? How does William feel about Rose? Okay, a girl, again, in and out type of energy. It's like feeling like it's hard to fit in with her. Call in the middle, a crossover between extras and millennials. So it's like they call in the middle with their relationship. It doesn't seem like he really loved her. But let's see, let's pull from the love energy. Is there any love here when it comes to Prince William and how he feels about Rose Hinesbury? Is there any love here? Kind of sloppy, uh, William. Kind of sloppy, but you managed to get it out. Rose, how do you feel about Prince William? Okay, she she laying it out there. What else, girl? On one card. Rose, how do you feel about William, Prince William? Rose struggle with her emotions too. I believe him and her relate because she may not be that emotional. He's not that emotional and it just seems like it works, okay? Until you finally have to deal with each other and you feel realize that it don't work. Okay, let's see. How does Prince William feel about Rose? Okay, he said this is a past life relationship. You have known each other before. Again, they got that energy of back and forth, maybe even that karmic type of energy. Like they go back and forth, you know. They can. They don't have to have each other all the time. They don't. It seems like he's that type of person when it comes to her. Maybe he'll see her once every three months, six months, or something like that. They get together, maybe some passion there for a moment. But it seems like you know she's not a full time, all the time type of lover. Unless something else shows up. Oh, okay, girl. We got the wedding here. Now look how he's looking. It's almost like he had no other choice. And look how she's looking. She like she adore him. It speaks about this situation involves a marriage. So, girl, you never know, honey. He might get in desperate times where his other options fell off and he may have to go ahead and marry her. But it's still showing wedding here. Oh, followed by soulmate energy. Yes, this is your soulmate. Girl, okay. Prove me wrong then. So it seems like they got a past together. Um, he planning on marrying her. And then it's a soulmate connection here. Let's see how she feels about him. It says, let go of control, it's a rose, okay? Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So she's trying to force it to go faster and move faster. But it's like, let it happen naturally, honey. He that he got a lot of things he got to do, girl, before he pull you in. Followed by very soon, though. You don't have to wait too much longer. It says, clearly decide what you want, Rose, so that it can come to you now. And that's what she's doing, girl. You ain't got to tell her twice. Followed by, this could be the one, Okay. You done married before, you done did all the relationships. This could possibly be the one. So it seems like there's some type of divine soulmate type of energy here that's going to possibly end with a wedding because the wedding did finally show up when it came to Prince William. Like, it takes him time, girl. He ain't the type to just jump into it. And it's been so many cycles, but it seems like finally he's going to decide to go ahead and do this. It says, you already met the romantic partner you seek. So she's saying she's going to let go of control issues and just hopefully that he'll do things right, which it looks like he will eventually. You know, he just got so much going on when it comes to Kate. He got to figure out how he's going to do that with the public and okay, Kate behind the scenes, how he's going to introduce everything. So that's why it's taking him a long time. And it's just said, girl, don't try to control the situation that may got a lot he got to deal with. But the cars are saying very soon this could be the one. And then very soon it's going to be a wedding. Because this is a soulmate connection. Even on both of these sides, it's pulling up now. So, girl, that's going to be the reading, reading for Rose Hineberry. I don't know how people are going to take this, girl. But that's just how it is. Or or the other girls out there, honey. But, girl, it seems like it may be working out in the cards for Rose Hansberry and Prince William. So, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next reading. And I will catch you on the next one, okay? Bye.